Hi, hello, how are you? And welcome back to the Creative Sim. <laughs> uh, so this is the Creative Sim video for Outfit October days 8 through 14. And I had a lot of fun this week. You noticed the first outfit was actually for the first for day eight's prompt and that was goth and I had so much fun making that outfit but unfortunately something happened to that video so you I don't have it I don't have that creation process which is a bummer but I really did like how that came out because I was worried at first that I was just going to have to go and just dress my sim as Bella goth or something or that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do something that even if it didn't perfectly represent goth culture because obviously like I'm not in that culture so I don't know that I could ever perfectly represent it um but just something that I was happy with and something that made my sim look different than what she uh, usually is which is kind of for me the whole point of this this challenge and I think it did and the next one which you're seeing right now is that was a fun outfit too. Like I said, this was a great week of prompts. So what you're looking at right now is day nine and that was, the prompt was Rockstar. And I don't have any guitar props, although I did consider searching for them. I was like, nah, screw the props. Um, and so I went and just kind of went for, I don't know, the pink hair started all and then it kind of turned into, I don't know if it's like 80s Rockstar chick vibes or something, but she, my sim self, like, look, she looks good. Like, tell me you don't want to see her in concert now. She's ready for The Sims 4 Get Famous to come out and just go, honestly. So that was a really fun prompt, and I really like how she came out. It was very different from what my sim self looks standard, you know, and I like that. The next prompt was hiking, and, of course, I was thinking, see, I didn't want to go to Salvadorada, even though that's, like, we know that's what was in my mind. Let's be real. Uh, so I kind of went with all of my favorite Selvadorada inspired CC on this one. And even though it's for that, except I didn't use the camera accessory. So like I held back. <laughs> and so I was inspired by that, but she could wear this hiking anywhere. You know, she had her hair tied up and she's dressed and ready to go for some long walks on some in uneven terrain. What more could you ask for in a hiking outfit? Also, I left the poses in this time. Last time you didn't see me posing them, but I don't know. I felt like that's part of the process since this is all like for Instagram edits and things. So I left them in for you. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing that even in high speed. But anyway, the next prompt was a beach. And I didn't want to do just a swimsuit because that's, it's an outfit, I guess, but it's also, for the most part, it's usually just a one-piece thing. So it's like, oh, I like this bathing suit, boom, done. So I wanted to create a beach outfit, but more like you're on the beach, like in the beach area versus actually like going into the water. So no swimsuit. And I think she looked really cute. Like the funny thing about this week is that there are a lot of warm, I guess, prompts and it's fall. And so like, I'm not getting these kind of outfits in a beach day right now. So my sim self is living my best life for me, apparently. And, and let's just be real. I don't look that cool when the, I can go to the beach. But anyway, and then this week we had another style swap. I think I have a style swap in every week. I think, except for like the last week of October because it's like three days. But anyway, so I chose to do a style swap with a sim. I haven't really paid much attention to it in a while, and that's Rose Fields. And, oh, Rose Fields, I missed her. She's so cute in like every way. And it was interesting to put my sim in her hair because, one, neither I or my sim have the face for a middle part. I look like a dork. Let's just be real. And <laughs> and you can base that entirely off of my sim self because you know what I look like. But anyway, and also I'm way too pale or at least like my sim self. I don't know how it translates in real life, but my sim self is way too pale for that hair. And so I don't know that it fits her face very well, but it's very different and I would never have put it on her otherwise. Also, Clearly, Rose Fields looks much better in her own look than my Sim does, so good on her for that. Rose Fields, I'm also noticing now, is like, she looks like she goes hiking. Like, look at her. That girl has some strong legs, and I'm jealous. 
But anyway, uh, that was a fun outfit too because it was simple. It was a simple swap, but it was, again, it changed my Sims' whole look. And then Rose Fields outshone me the whole time with her superior face shape. <laughs> but yeah, and then the next prompt was... I'm lost on that. Oh, the next prompt was apocalypse. And I was like, how am I going to do this without straight up doing a zombie? And I managed it. I managed it. It's not a super obvious look, I guess. Like, I don't know if I would necessarily, like, if I dropped her anywhere, be like, oh, she's dressed for the apocalypse kind of thing. But I tried to make it, like, a practical outfit and tried to think about, I don't know, some kind of situation. So she is, oh, also, something slash someone I kept in mind with this outfit was Maggie from The Walking Dead. You know, just very practical, ready to go, kind of like, huh. and that was what I was ready for. And that's why my sim has short hair, which it would take an apocalypse for me to have short hair. I couldn't bring myself to, to do a big chop, but she did. And then I was like, okay, maybe she's injured because we all know I'd die in the apocalypse. And the only injury I really had was the little face scar and a bandage and I was like that's fine she I even like you if you've been keeping up with these as I post them on Twitter and Instagram then I was you know I was like oh this let's just call this a best case scenario because I would not survive the apocalypse like that it wouldn't happen zombies or otherwise I can't fight people so I don't know what I'd do but that's, I think she came out good. I feel like she's ready to run at the very least. And that's, that's kind of all you need, right? Just to be fast. I don't know. I'm not in the apocalypse. Thank goodness. There'd be no Sims in the, see, look, see, no Sims in the apocalypse. Your girl definitely would not survive. Right? Right? Um, <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, and then the next slash last outfit for this week of outfit October day 14 was what oh it was summer and I was like I just did beach what am I supposed to do here and I think it's because in the prompts I'm pretty sure I have every season so next week we might have fall as a prompt I don't remember anywho and so I was like well again I don't want to do just a bathing suit outfit because you know summer summer is so much more than that especially like depending on where you live like you might not even associate summer with the beach. And so I wanted to try, or what I did put together was some more just warm weather inspired and maybe like a little bit leading towards festival looks. Not that I know anything about festivals, but that's what I was going for here. And I think it worked. I think she looks cute. I think she looks ready to go. I would wear it. Well, I wouldn't wear make. I don't know that I'd be able to one, apply or B, pull off that makeup, but I'd wear her outfit. And I mean, that works. I'm having so much fun with these props. Like, they're just like little things, you know? But anyway, I'm going to let you go. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!